in a world where 80% of the people have yet to make a phone call, 66% don't have access to constant electricity, and 98% are not connected to the internet, the challenges of the digital divide are as daunting as the digital opportunities for narrowing it are dramatic. From complex satellite systems for making telephone access possible from any place on Earth, to simple wind-up generators for electrical devices and computers where there is no power, to the Planet Project online survey of the human race, which used the latest networking and handheld devices to demonstrate the variety of ways to connect the unconnected, the technology tools for empowering people and countries are available. It's now a matter of making them available to the most people and places. It is no longer a luxury. We feel that it is really a necessity. It is not a question of whether a country is developed or not developed, but it is a question of this is the way to learn today. Eliana Gudza is the director of WorldLink Zimbabwe, a World Bank initiative to connect schools in developing countries. It has leveraged its foundation grants and corporate support to cross deeper into Zimbabwe's digital divide. This mobile computer classroom makes it possible for rural students to learn the basic computer skills they need for the new and old economies. Here in Southern Africa, the digital divide is so wide and so pronounced that kids here in the rural areas have never even seen a computer. And without an outreach program like this one by Worldlinks, it's highly unlikely they'd ever even get to touch one in their lives. In Latin America, a former president of Costa Rica is helping bring connectivity to rural areas in advance of the infrastructure with a simple and practical plan for converting old shipping containers into internet centers called Linkos, which stands for Little Intelligent Communities. Here, the key to sustainable connectivity is combining multinational corporate support with the local government's education and technology resources to provide not only connectivity, but the higher social services priorities like telemedicine and water analysis, which locals really need more than the computers and software. The same culture of entrepreneurship which launched the IT revolution that created the new economies in places like Bangalore is now needed to train the new generation of skilled workers they require. Corporate sponsored networking academies like these are proving to be the most significant investments companies and countries can make for their future growth and prosperity. They are investing something in us which is probably better than anything else that we could receive. Be it money or technology, it doesn't matter. Knowledge is by far uh, the best thing that someone could invest. The world's digital divide has created the world's greatest digital opportunities.